Nearly two dozen Oklahomans and their pets living on the streets now have a warm place to call home. All thanks to Oklahoma City's Key to Home Partnership. This marks a milestone for the program, too. News 4's Natalie Clydesdale has more. Well, imagine trying to fall asleep on the concrete here with loud cars speeding above you. That was one woman's reality for 12 years until she was approached by a caseworker with the city's Key to Home Partnership. On any given night, more than 1,400 people are living on Oklahoma City streets. Shelly Hopper used to be one of them. It's not easy out there. We have to get up every day and search for food. We have to get up every day and worry about a shower. After battling drug problems, Hopper spent more than a decade under this bridge near I-40 in South Agnew. When I was out there during the winters, I almost froze to death. I had frostbite. Hopper's luck is finally changing, though. Last month, a caseworker with Oklahoma City's Key to Home Partnership offered her an apartment. She moved in about a week and a half ago. It's amazing, amazing. It feels good to know that I can lock the door and be safe. She's one of 21 Oklahomans recently housed by the program. The others were previously living near the same bridge as Hopper or at an encampment near Southwest 25th in Penn. 19 pets, including Hopper's multiple dogs, were also given a home. We also provide case management support that wraps around them for a, at least 12 months to help them stabilize in that housing, get connected to the community, and help them achieve whatever goals they have in their life. Since the program launched last year, 126 people have been housed, about a quarter of their 500-person goal. Hopper says she's beyond grateful. For the first time in 12 years, she has a home with a kitchen full of food, a warm bed, and arguably her favorite part, a bathtub with running water. When I first moved in here, I stayed in the bathtub four and a half hours because I was black from set. This is a blessing from God. God's amazing, and these people are amazing. Natalie Clydesdale, Oklahoma's News 4. Shelley says she's now two years sober and working for the Curbside Chronicle. If you'd like to help out and donate to the Key to Home Partnership, we have a link to it on our website.